In Cyberpunk 2077, RAM is used for quick hacking and breach protocols, but in your system, RAM is used for Google Chrome tabs. But really, in your system, RAM is used to keep your CPU fed with information. So, does RAM speed affect Cyberpunk 2077 performance? Because this is Cyberpunk week. <laughs> And well, we gotta find out, cause someone's gonna ask. And good lord, do we have to find a way to make this game run better. So here we have the G-Skill Trident Z Neo. This is possibly the best RAM that you can get for Ryzen. 3800 megahertz CL14. That is some spicy RAM. This is some of the lowest timings with some of the highest memory speed that you can get. This is you. This is the guy she tells you not to worry about. This is some really good RAM. I'm sure some of you are gonna be out there being like, 4,400 megahertz. That stuff's at like CL19. <laughs> Cast latency is everything when it comes to frame rate. Yes, megahertz does make a difference more so on Intel systems, but latency on Ryzen is a bad thing. All right, let's get it, pop, get it hopped in here. All right, the system uh, that we're using has a Ryzen 7 5800X and a 3080 not TI because they don't make those yet. This RAM is so spicy I can't even put my side panel on. Not the usual RAM I keep in the system. <laughs> okay, so to start off, we're gonna go for the, I've never put a PC together and I just got it together and it starts up. Why is it not getting the frame rates that I want? No XMP, like say you just assembled a PC and you didn't go into the BIOS and change anything and it's running completely stock. But hey, people do it. I know people who've ran their system for years without ever turning on XMP. The, I bought a Dell PC and they didn't turn on XMP for me. Oh yeah, I gotta load up the, um, I gotta load up the patch. Although I'm curious. I'm a little curious. I'm sickened but curious. I'm gonna run it without the patch on the 5800 and see if it's just as bad. Let's be real here. The, the memory speed's probably gonna be the bottleneck. 2466. Yeah, no, it, it definitely, it's definitely still a, uh, a bottleneck on, um, on Zen 3. Man, that patch is wild, you know. Make sure to watch the video on that one. <laughs> the first video from this week. Oh, hi, no ray tracing, none of that stuff. I mean, yeah, 110 to 120 area. I think if we see above this, can you steal a car? Oh, got ran over. They did not want me to steal their car. Yeah, 110, 120-ish. Sometimes dips below that though. It's a really weird game. It varies a lot. And I guess Ramsey will make the difference in these driving scenes where you're moving through scenery really fast and it has to kind of load new, free, new scenery because we're below 100 right now. Sometimes they'll get back up to like 120, 110. I don't know, it's fairly varied. Let's go to a RAM speed that most people get, you know, your standard 3200 megahertz RAM. That's what everybody runs. I'm gonna set it to the XMP profile, but I'm just gonna bring it down to 3200. Save changes and reset. God, it loads so much faster. <laughs> like the game startup time, way faster. Like that's impressive. Like before I was sitting at like the loading, like the steam loading type thing, for like a solid, I don't know, 10 seconds. Oh, wow. Um, Zax? It's getting a lot more FPS. I didn't change anything. Wait, 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 it's wait. getting a lot more FPS. What, what's, what's different? Is it just the RAM speed? It's literally just the RAM speed. Like I'm saying, like this is like a good 20 FPS increase. Mm, 2400 megahertz RAM, no good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm getting run over by a car. Uh-oh, cyberpunk car. Get out, get out, get out. I hear the cars don't have AI. Yeah, this is at 3200. So at 3200, 14, 14. Yeah, well, it's 14, 16, 16, 30, something, but yeah. Wow, cool. Good. Yeah, RAM speed. Let's crank it up to the max. <laughs> Nobody ever notices a difference in RAM speed because they're always going from like 30 FPS to like 32 FPS. All right, let's, uh, let's crank that RAM speed though. That's impressive. I didn't expect it to be that big of a difference. Immediately off the bat, we were seeing more FPS than we were before. <laughs> All right, just uh, crank the setting to uh, 3,800 megahertz. Who knows, we might be able to take it even beyond and then like raise the timing some, even though that's probably not optimal. Guys, remember, we're playing at 720p here. You're, you're gonna be like, how are you getting so many FPS? It's, it's, it's 7, 720. So 
so we can get both of them on the screen together because I don't have two capture cards. I can't capture two different screens. It also exacerbates the differences. To where if you're gonna see a difference, you're gonna see one here. I mean, I think we're seeing a slight increase here. It's not massive, but there is, it's, it's hovering around 150. I've seen it peak up to like 160. I feel like it lowers the memory utilization too when you have faster memory because I, I could have sworn that at, at, at stock memory speed, it was using uh, nine gigabytes of, of, of RAM where it's using eight now. Yeah, no, in a, in a car driving scene right now, like just full speed ahead, I'm still getting like 100, over 130. So there's a very big difference over, you know, obviously stock memory speeds. Like seriously, if you have RAM and you have not set the XMP, please do. And if it doesn't work after you do that, then you're gonna wanna lower the memory speed to until it boots. <laughs> like sometimes setting XMP doesn't work and that's not that there's anything wrong with your computer. Sometimes it doesn't work. So just bring down the memory speed, like set the XMP, bring down the memory speed and then get until it boots. And you know, sometimes your memory is just not compatible with your motherboard or, RAM, or, or CPU. So then you just have a bad time. But yeah, no, that is a really big difference over, especially stock memory speeds. But 3200, not a huge difference here. I think maybe the memory timings might be uh, affecting it more, but I still think that this is slightly better than the 3200. So let's try to go even further beyond. If it doesn't like 4000, we'll end the video there. All right, 4000 megahertz, does it, does, the, does it boot? Like, nope, oh, that's it, it's all she wrote. This is what happens when your XMP is set and your RAM speed is too high. Sometimes your XMP is just too good for your board and, and processor and sometimes your RAM just can't boot at that speed. A lot of people don't really understand that about RAM speed though. Like they're like, I set an XMP and it doesn't boot at that. I'm like, well, it's probably not the RAM. Probably being a keyword. Yeah, I know you're not happy. Let's go through uh, real quick. Just bump the timings just a little bit. Don't get too convoluted video. Don't get too convoluted. 16, 18. All right, do you boot? Let's see what a difference in the game is. This is only a 200 megahertz difference and we might also be bordering um, instability. All right, 4,000 megahertz. <laughs> What's the game look like? actually kind of fun but this ram doesn't doesn't really put up that much of a fight well also zen 3 doesn't put up that much of a fight with the ram if you're trying to launch a freaking uh zen 1 at 4000 megahertz good luck <laughs> you have a bad time <laughs> all right we see an fps jump at all get out of this car i just get street cred for for stealing someone's car <laughs> All right, yeah, it's uh, having a bad time. This is not quite as good as, uh, as CL14. <laughs> you know, it, it's not getting the same frame rate it was. I think we're bordering instability now, where, yeah, the game is playing, but it's, the RAM is running into memory errors because you're running it too fast, and uh, ultimately that kills your frame rate. This is not quite as good as just uh, the, the XMP as 3800, so yeah. I think memory timings is the deal here. So yeah, memory. It, uh, it certainly does make a difference in uh, Cyberpunk and uh, probably every other game, except for like Skyrim. But you know what also makes a difference? Subscribing to the channel because uh, we could always use more subs. Maybe leave a comment on uh, what, you, what memory speed did for you. You know, hit a like button and we'll see you next time. Cyber week. Cyber week.